Are you tired of driving around town wasting time? Today I'm going to talk about virtual quotes. Stay tuned. I'm Nick May. Welcome to the Business Brush TV. We're all about helping paint contractors like you put down the brush so you can have more time and make more money. So as a painting contractor, one of the hardest things we have to do is manage our time. And the last thing you want to do after you've painted all day is go and do estimates all night. If you're anything like me and you find it hard to visit people in their homes or you're just too busy to get around to all the estimates, one of the things that you need to consider is virtual estimating. So a lot of paint contractors are talking about virtual estimating, but a lot of them also talk about how your closing rate goes down with virtual estimates. And the reason that that happens is that you're not getting that personal connection with your customer in their house. So today we wanna to talk a little bit about how can you be more effective with virtual quotes. So several months ago, we were finding it very difficult to get to all of the estimates in a timely manner. So we developed a virtual quoting form that lives on our website. The virtual quote is filled out by the homeowner and all they have to do is answer a few questions and upload a few pictures. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to reduce this to just a numbers game. And then the customer is gonna just pick the lowest bid. So what we do at Walls by Design is we have a phone conversation with our homeowners prior to providing an estimate. So I'm not gonna get into it right now, but go back and watch my video, Show, Don't Tell. It talks all about our sales process. So once a request comes into our office, our estimator will call the homeowner and go over not only exactly what they want to have done in their house, but they're going to build that rapport. They're going to talk about the five things that make us different and unique. And you want to make sure you take that opportunity to talk to your customer then, because once you give them an estimate, it might be harder to get in touch with them on the backside. The next thing we do is we put a comprehensive bid together and we send out the bid, the estimate through Estimate Rocket, but we also put some videos. The videos are going to go over our process for painting cabinets and our process for working with Walls by Design. All of this is going to be duplicate content that the salesperson would have gone over in that very first phone conversation. When you have that initial conversation with the homeowner, you wanna make sure that you're doing the same things that you would do if you were inside their house. You wanna talk about what's important to them, why are they doing this project right now? And a little bit about them and their family. Now that's our system and process for getting a virtual quote for cabinets. We also have done some virtual quotes for homeowners that want whole houses or trim painted. And to do that, you need to get yourself very familiar with Zoom. When you do a Zoom call, it's almost like you're there in the house because you're interacting with them in their space. It's a little bit awkward, but you're both laughing about it. You wanna make sure you ask all the important questions like what areas do they want painted, what do they want painted, and have them show you on video. And the great thing about using Zoom is that Zoom will record the video so you can actually go back later if you've missed something doing the quote right then and there on the spot. So when they're walking me through the house, I actually have my iPad just like I would if I was in the house and I'm taking dimensions down and asking them questions. So it feels very similar to being in the house. Virtual quotes can be really great because you can do so many more quotes in a day than if you had to drive around town. When I hear painting contractors talk about the fact that their virtual quotes closing ratios are really low, I know that they're not going through the same process they would if they were actually in the house. But don't forget to talk about your USPs or your unique selling propositions. We also have a video that talks all about unique selling propositions. But that's gonna help you separate yourself from the competition. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to check out the other video, Show Don't Tell. I'll see you in the next video.